So how do you feel about luxury YouTubers who have Patreon accounts or paid memberships on YouTube? In other words, luxury YouTubers who take donations from you. And to do what? fund more handbags. I recently learned some things about this and today we're going to talk about it and I'm very curious about your opinion on this topic. So stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Several years ago, I started seeing a few luxury YouTubers who would advertise that they had a Patreon account and come support me and my Patreon account and, you know, help help the channel by supporting me and keeping me on here. Now I have very mixed feelings about this and I would love to hear what you think about it. My initial reaction, and I've talked to some of my YouTube friends and they tend to feel the same way, my initial reaction is that if you're a luxury YouTuber, somebody who does a lot of unboxings of expensive handbags, for example, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to be asking for donations from your audience, right? Because the impression you get there is that that money is going to go toward funding more handbags for the YouTuber. When in reality, a lot of your viewers can't afford those bags, or at least not as much as the YouTubers go buy and unbox, and particularly if we're talking about people who are going to the store and buying brand new all the time. It seems like those people maybe don't need your donations, right? And that maybe you'd be better off keeping that money for yourself to fund your own handbags or whatever else you want to use with your money. But over these years, I've also come across some other channels that do things like Patreon. And on some of those channels, I've been able to justify it more. For example, the one that I've seen that I have found most impressive is a travel channel out of Italy called Nikki Positano. She's this English woman named Nikki. She lives in Positano, Italy. She's married to an Italian man there. They live on his family's farm way up on the hill. And it's a very, very different lifestyle from what most people in the world have. And if I remember correctly, she started her channel during or maybe right before the COVID lockdown when everybody was home and nobody could really travel. So her channel blew up and rightfully so because it's very interesting and she does a great job with it. And I've seen a lot of her videos and in some of them a couple years ago she started talking about her Patreon account that she posted other videos there and other kinds of content. So I went to check it out. I never joined it but I went to check it out and the way hers is set up with Patreon, you can set up memberships. So if you're not familiar, it's a way to offer content to people, but it's paid content. So you have to pay a monthly fee in order to access that content. And with Patreon in particular, you can set up different membership tiers. So you may have the lowest tier where it's, I'm just gonna do $5 increments, where maybe it's $5 a month. And for $5 a month, you get these certain things or for the next tier, $10 a month, then you get those things plus these other things. And then a $15 a month, you would get all those things plus a few more things. And the way she had her set up, I thought was really interesting because it wasn't just asking for donations, she's giving you real value in return for what you're spending. So I remember, and I don't think she's doing it this way anymore because her channel's gotten so big, I don't think she would be able to handle this much work by herself, but I think at the top tier, if you were ever to come visit Positano, that she would get together with you or she would give you travel tips or something like that. But like really valuable things in each tier on top of what she was already doing on YouTube. And that was always intriguing to me. And since I saw that, it's always been in the back of my mind, like, what can I do if I wanted to start a Patreon I wouldn't want to do it as a donation-based thing where I'm just asking people to give me money to fund my lifestyle, right? Or being like, hey, I just quit my job as a teacher. I'm doing YouTube full-time now. Give me money so I don't have to get another job, right? That's not what I want to do. The only way I would do something like Patreon and accept money from people is if I'm giving you something in return. And I don't quite know 
as a luxury channel what kinds of things I could offer. But recently, I was watching Sophie Shohet. A lot of you guys know who she is. I will have all these channels I'm mentioning will be linked in the description box below. I've watched Sophie for years, love her. And she recently, just a few months ago, started a Patreon account. And the way she was describing it in her YouTube videos was that it's a smaller community and that she posts more personal things there that she wouldn't post on a more public platform like YouTube. I mean, YouTube is free, so anybody can watch your YouTube videos. Everybody has access. Everyone with the internet and access to YouTube has access to your videos, right? Whereas Patreon, you're going to have people who are paying you, which means even if it's a small fee, it's going to tend to mean that those people care more about your content in particular, that they wanna see you over and over again. They may want to get to know you better. They're people who really enjoy you consistently and probably have been watching you for a while. And because of that, they may be more of a trustworthy audience than just the general public where you get sometimes really mean, awful comments. So those aren't the people that are gonna pay to watch you. But what it does do, in theory at least, is to create a space where there are viewers that are more interested in what you're doing than maybe the average viewer and may want to see different kinds of content than what you do normally on your channel. So I joined Sophie's Patreon and I have watched all of her videos. Now the way she does it, she started it in May of 2023, so just a few months ago. She only is doing two videos a month right now, so there aren't that many videos up, so it didn't take long to get through them. And she does that, but she also does posts. So it's a little bit like Facebook, the way this is set up, where you go to her Patreon page and then it'll have like a wall or a feed where you can scroll down. The most recent things are, the, are at the top. And so it's a mix of videos and text posts and then people can comment and you can have conversations like on any other social media. And I have so been enjoying that and it really makes me want to start a Patreon or some other, I'm gonna talk about some other ones in a minute because it really does at least on her channel, feel like a smaller community. I'm certainly willing, because I really like Sophie, to pay for a membership with her. And there are lots of other YouTubers that I would pay for a membership with, but that may be a little skewed coming from me because I'm more involved in YouTube than most people are. But it really, on her channel, it really does feel more personal. And I can see, I'm not gonna give you any spoilers about what she talks about. You'll have to go join her Patreon to see. But it really is some content that you wouldn't, as, as somebody who's been doing YouTube for a while and I'm very careful about privacy and the kind of content that I post on such a public forum, it really is a place on her channel where she can talk about some things that are relatable and interesting that you wouldn't want to put in public for a variety of reasons. And so what I'm wondering for you guys, and the, the main reason I'm doing this video, is I want to see what you think about that. Like, if I was, I'm not saying I'm 100% going to do this, but I'm thinking about it, I'm marinating on it. If I was going to start something like a Patreon, a paid membership for extra content on top of what I already do on YouTube. What kind of ideas would you have? Not just for videos, like what kinds of content would you pay to get from your favorite YouTubers, particularly luxury YouTubers? Not necessarily though. How much would you be willing to pay for per month? If there were tiers, what are some of the things that you think should be offered in those different tiers? Like it could be videos, well, let me say this. Patreon is videos and posts like chats, right? But I was researching today and there's another company I've never heard of called Kofi. It's K-O-F-I. It does the same thing Patreon does where you can have these paid memberships and you can post videos and posts. And I think you can even have different tiers there. But they also offer a few other things like People can just make donations if they want, which is something I'm not that interested in. Or they could do like crowdfunding, like I have this goal, I need a new camera or whatever for, for YouTube. My, my, let's say my camera went kaput and I need a new camera and they're not cheap. So here's my financial goal to get that camera and people can make donations and you can see you know, how much progress that person is making toward their goal. Also not something I'm sure I'm really interested in, mainly because I feel on a channel like mine, on these luxury channels, if you can afford to buy expensive handbags, 
then you should be able to afford a camera. Particularly if you're running your channel as a business, then it makes sense to me. Again, this is if you're a luxury channel, that whatever income you're using to fund those bags should also be able to fund camera equipment, whatever your business expenses are. But then this Kofi, they also offer things like ways to sell things such as not just handbags, but like digital content. And I have, I've, I've, I've had ideas for years. I have notebooks full of ideas for things that I could offer for sale, but I haven't had the time to put it all together because it's very time consuming on the front end and then actually offer that or physical products. Like I, I don't have the particular mug in front of me, but a recent video, I had a mug that I had painted and Winnie told me, oh, here's, here's an example. I have this set of coasters with my dog drawings. So I painted those and Winnie was telling me, you need to make stuff like this to sell. So I could do that or drawings or the Christmas cards that I do that I've shown you guys before, or I've talked about doing a planner or, you know, there are all kinds of things, ideas that I have, digital classes about something or an ebook about something or a real book about something, you know. I have lots of ideas, have not had time to implement them. So that's what these next few months are for is to play around with things and figure out what I wanna do. But Kofi allows you to do all of those things, whereas Patreon only does the video and the messaging, plus Kofi's fees that they take from the content creator are a lot lower than Patreon's. So I'm thinking if I do choose to go into this route and explore this, that I'd probably go with Kofi. But then YouTube also has a membership, a paid membership thing, which I've never looked into because I've never been interested in that. I, I don't know. I feel like if I'm staying on YouTube and of course I am, but if I'm keeping all the other content on YouTube, like that's already something I'm doing for everybody for free. So I feel like it should stay that way. And if I'm gonna do something that's paid, it should be on a different platform and I'm offering more things. I'm, I'm adding value. I'm giving you something like a reason to give me money in exchange for what I'm doing, you know? Like I'm earning your dollars. I'm not just asking for donations. But ultimately being a business and considering the time I already put into YouTube and making free content, anything I do on top of that at some point has to be worth it financially too. I can't just endlessly add things that take up more of my time. I have to get a return on my time investment, right? A financial return on my time investment. So taking all these ideas that I've been having over the years and been making notes on, trying to figure out which would be the best in terms of investment and in terms of what you guys are most interested in. And also, oh, let me say this. So if I was to make videos for something like Patreon or Kofi, that people would be paying for a membership to access these videos. Here's some of the video ideas that I'm thinking of already. I've done a few chit chatty videos, kind of like this one lately, talking about channel ideas that a lot of you seem to enjoy. And I enjoy the sit down chit chat videos. They're less work than some of the other ones where I have to write in my notebook and plan things out and do this whole thing. And it, it's still definitely a lot of work, but it's a little less work than those kinds of videos. So that could be something about more personal topics, maybe certainly taking ideas from you guys for what those topics would be. I get requests on my YouTube channel sometimes for video ideas that I would like to do. For example, videos about planners, but I've done videos on planners before and they don't do well on YouTube. They don't get the views on that channel to make it worth my time to continue doing them. But maybe on a smaller platform, platform like Kofi, maybe that would be the place to put videos like that. And fingers crossed on a smaller platform with a smaller community like on Kofi, fingers crossed I would be able to keep up a lot better than I do on YouTube with actually interacting with you guys more in the comment section because I really enjoy doing that when I do it, but I simply don't have time to respond. I read every comment. I don't respond to most comments. And that I think is my biggest flaw as a YouTuber. And I've been aware of that for years, but it's very time consuming. It doesn't seem like it is, but it takes a lot of time to go and respond to every comment. So maybe in a smaller community, it would take less time. So I'd be able to do that there. So that's what I've been thinking. Let me know what your experience has been with Patreon or Kofi or YouTube memberships, or just in general on this topic in terms of, have you ever paid for extra content? If so, 
Did you feel like it was worth it to you? What kinds of content are, um, if you've canceled something like that, why did you leave? Also, if you've canceled with any of those programs I've mentioned, how easy or difficult was it for you to cancel? Because I wouldn't want to be on a platform that makes it really difficult for you to cancel. Like if I started something like that and you're not enjoying the content, I want you to be able to leave easily and not have to fight with the cancellation process or have to dig down to find how to cancel or have to call someone one. Like, it should be easy to cancel a membership. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this. Terrible idea? Something I should try? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for whatever comments you're going to leave about this, because for me, that's what this video is really about, is hearing back from you guys on this topic. Hope to see you back here next time. By the way, my next video for Thursday, fingers crossed I've been working on this, will be the epic road trip vlog from Houston up to Oregon here, and uh, I'm about halfway through editing it, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get it done and up by Thursday. There's an 11 day trip, a lot of footage, so look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.